Hello, and welcome to our video series on how to use a conduit bender. This series consists of short videos that will introduce, teach, and demonstrate how to use the tool and route the conduit you bend with it. In this video, we will discuss single degree bends and offset bends. For 90 degree bends, please refer to our video, how to do a 90 degree bend. Keep in mind, we will be using half inch conduit and a half inch conduit bender for all our demonstrations. So numbers, measurements, formula tables, and quick guides will be different if you're using a three quarter inch or a one inch bender, but the process is all the same. Let's get started. The first and most simple action this tool is used to perform is single degree bends. Located on the head, there are five degree bends. Making these degree bends are simple. Place your conduit in the hook, line up your markings with the arrow located on the front of the hook, and bend your conduit until the bottom is parallel with the marking for that degree. If you are using Klein Tools Angle Setter, bend the conduit until it touches the guard. Make sure to not overbend. Overbending causes bowing of the material. When making your bend, posture and position are important. Place the tool vertically on the floor with the hook facing away from you. Position your boot behind the handle while maintaining a firm grip near the hook and a firm grip on your conduit. Once your conduit is lined up with the arrows, apply pressure by using the weight of your body and not just strength. As you bend the conduit, make sure to lower your hips and not bend at the back, practicing unsafe work habits. Now that we know how to make simple single degree bends, Let's discuss putting these single degree bends together. Occasionally, there will be an obstacle in your conduit run that you must avoid or route around. This is when you will perform multiple bends in one piece of conduit. These are called offset bends. Offset bends are pairs of bends used to redirect conduit. Anytime an offset bend is made, an amount of shrinkage occurs. If you perform an offset bend on a six foot long piece of conduit, it will no longer reach six feet. This is called shrinkage. To calculate shrinkage, refer to our quick guide or offset formula table. The quick guide is located on the handle of your Klein bender and an offset formula table can be found in the Klein tools handbook or online. The quick guide gives you quick access to whole numbers that make your job a whole lot easier when calculating shrinkage. However, occasionally you will be dealing with odd numbers such as five and a half or five and three quarters of an inch and you will need to know the amount of shrinkage that occurs for each inch when performing that offset. With this, you can calculate shrinkage no matter what measurements you're working with. Let's go over an example of how to calculate shrinkage when performing a 30 degree offset to avoid a five inch obstacle. To do this, simply refer to your offset formula table and locate the shrink per inch of offset. In this case, for us, it's quarter inch. This means for every inch of our obstacle, we will experience a quarter of an inch shrinkage. Since our obstacle is five inches, this means the amount of shrinkage will be inch and a quarter for this 30 degree offset. This shrinkage is what you will add to your DTO or distance to object when calculating where to make your offset markings. Now, of course, you can refer to the quick guide located on the handle for more common shrinkage calculations but it's important to know how to calculate shrinkage for measurements that aren't on your quick guide. Now that we know how to calculate shrinkage, let's move on to how to make an offset bend. Suppose we are running conduit and we need to avoid an obstacle in the run. The length we need to clear or avoid is five inches and the distance to object is 24 inches from our starting point. The length we need to clear is called offset distance. The first bend avoids the obstacle and the second bend puts us back on our path to our destination. These two bends make an offset and both bends should be the same degree. There are three things you will need to refer to or utilize to calculate your offsets. The multipliers on the head, the quick guide on the handle or climb book for odd numbers, and the DTO, distance to object. Let's walk through an example. If we are performing a 30 degree offset, we would use a 2.0 multiplier. Then we would take this multiplier and multiply that by the length of our object. In this case, five inches, giving us 10 inches total. This is the distance we need between our bends. 
Putting this measurement of distance between our bends will allow us to successfully clear the obstacle. Now let's calculate where we will place our two markings to start our bends. You will first measure the DTO, which is 24 inches, and add the amount of shrinkage that will occur performing a 30 degree offset. This gives us 25 and a quarter inches, and that is where we will make our first mark. Now, let's calculate our second marking by measuring back 10 inches for our offset distance. Now that we've discussed how to calculate your markings for your bends, let's get into how to actually make the bend. Your application might be perfectly measured and your markings perfectly placed. However, if you are not practicing the correct technique when bending conduit, chances are your measurements and markings will not matter. To produce nearly perfect bends easily and consistently, it is best to use an angle setter. Once you've made your markings on your conduit, install your angle setter into the desired bend degree, line up the bender's arrows with your marking on your conduit, put the bender in position, making sure to secure the base of the handle in front of your boot, and apply a constant amount of pressure until the conduit touches the orange guard. Remember, do not overbend. Overbending past the orange guard will produce bowing of your conduit. After you've made the first bend, feed the conduit further into the head and rotate the conduit 180 degrees and align the second mark with the same arrow on our bender and make your second bend. And there you have it, a 30 degree offset bend. Thanks again for watching our video on single degree bends and offset bends. Good luck and work safely.